Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Agla Same Schools. I am Ishwarya and I am back with another chapter of our past history. Today we will discuss chapter number 5th that is when people rebel 1857 and after. This chapter discusses the Indian rebels against the Britishers and how they brought changes in the policies and rules after the rebel took place. So, without wasting much time, let us start with our exercise and try to give appropriate solutions for the same. So, beginning with question number one, which is, what was the demand of Rani Lakshmi Bai of Jhansi that was refused by the British? Answer, Rani Lakshmi Bai of Jhansi wanted the company to recognize her adopted son as the heir to the kingdom after the death of her husband. Question number two, what did the British do to protect the interest of those who converted to Christianity? Answer, the company allowed Christian missionaries to function freely in its domain and even own land and property. In 1850, a new law was passed to make conversion to Christianity easier. This law allowed an Indian who had converted to Christianity to inherit the property of his ancestors. Question number three, what objections did the sepoys have to the new cartridges that they were asked to use? Answer, some sepoys of the regiment at Meerut refused to do the army drill using the new cartridges, which were suspected of being coated in the fat of cows and pigs. Question number four, how did the last Mughal emperor live the last years of his life? Answer, the Mughal emperor lived his last years of life in jail in Rangoon along with his wife. Question number fifth, what could be the reasons for the confidence of the British rulers about their position in India before May 1857? Answer, Britishers were unquestioned rulers in most of the parts of India. They rarely had to use force to take control of people. They were doing profitable trade. Question number six. What impact did Bahadur Shah Zafar's support to the rebellion have on the people and the ruling families? Answer. Answer. When Bahadur Shah Zafar took over the leadership of the revolt and wrote letters to various chiefs and the rulers to support the sepoys, the rebellion quickly spread in the northern part of the country. The leadership of the Mughal emperor seemed to provide legitimacy to it. Sepoys revolted in Delhi, Awadh and Kanpur. The people also participated in the revolt. The leadership of Bahadur Shah Zafar gave a national character to the revolt which was mainly centered in northern parts of the country. Question number 7. How did the British succeed in securing the submission of the rebel landowners of Awadh? Answer. Unserved by the scale of the upheaval, the company decided to repress the revolt with all its might. The British tried their best to win back the loyalty of the people. They announced rewards for loyal landholders would be allowed to continue to enjoy traditional rights over their lands. Those who had rebelled were told that if they submitted to the British and if they had not killed any white people, they would remain safe and their rights and claims to land would not be denied. Question number eight. In what ways did the British change their policies as a result of the rebellion of 1857? Answer. Following are the changes introduced by Britishers as a result of the rebellion of 1857. Number first, the British Parliament passed a new act in 1858 and transferred the powers of the East India Company to the British Crown in order to be responsible management of Indian affairs. Secondly, all ruling chiefs of the country were assured that their territory would never be annexed in future. Thirdly, it was decided that the proportion of Indian soldiers in the army would be reduced and the number of European soldiers would be increased. Fourth, the British decided to respect the customary religious and social practices of the people in India. And fifth, policies were made to protect landlords and zamindars. And 
give them security of rights over their lands. Thus, a new phase of history began after 1857. So guys, this was all for this chapter. Hope you liked the video and if you did, then do not forget to like and share this video with your friends. If you still have any doubts regarding the chapter, then feel free to ask us in our comment section below. And yes, do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more NCRT videos of other subjects too. See you soon. Bye-bye.